In this example, we want to find the derivative of y equals to theta times cosine theta times sine theta. Okay, so, uh, so we have a function uh, that basically consists of um, three smaller functions. Okay, and this is a function that's dependent on theta. So in order to apply the product rule here, what we have to do is we have to um, go ahead and assign uh, two of the functions to one variable. Okay, all right. And then the other one's going to be left for the other variable. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and call this capital F of theta. And this one we can call capital G of theta. Okay. So now y has been written in, in the form of F of theta times G of theta. So, all right. So we can look at this point of view. Okay. Where y is um, expressed as two functions now. Okay. So then we're, what we're going to do is we're going to apply the product rule, okay, for these functions. And then eventually we'll have to apply the product rule again for, uh, for f of theta, because f of theta is theta times cosine theta, okay. All right, so let's go ahead and apply the product rule. So we're going to have y prime, which is, in this case, we have the derivative of y with respect to theta. So we're going to get f of theta times g prime of theta plus g of theta times f prime of theta. Okay. So let's first uh, find the derivative of f. Okay. So let's do that over here. So f of theta is cosine theta times theta, okay? So we need to apply the product rule for this, okay? So we can call this, okay, this is, we can say this is a, a little f of theta, and this is going to be little g of theta, okay? All right. So that means f prime of theta is going to be f of theta times g prime of theta plus g of theta times f prime of theta. Okay, so from here, we're going to get f of theta is theta, g prime of theta is going to be uh, we have the derivative of cosine, which is going to be minus sine theta. G of theta is just cosine theta times the derivative of theta with respect to theta is just going to be 1. Okay, so simplifying this, this is going to give us minus theta times sine theta plus cosine theta. Okay. All right. So now, okay, we have right. We have f prime of theta, and we need um, g prime of theta. Okay, so all right. So g of theta is sine theta. So so that would mean that the derivative would be cosine theta. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and plug these back into. Uh, into y prime. So f of theta, we have theta times cosine theta times g prime of theta. So g prime of theta is, right, that's going to be cosine theta, okay. Plus g of theta, which is sine theta and then we have f prime of theta so f prime of theta was this expression here this function so that's going to be uh, so sine theta it's going to get multiplied it's going to multiply uh, minus theta times sine theta plus cosine theta. Okay. So 
So now from here, okay, we have our derivative. Now we just need to simplify it. Okay. So this is going to be theta times cosine squared theta. Okay, so from here, right, this is right, this is we have two of these. So that's gonna give us cosine squared theta. And then uh, we can go ahead and distribute the sine theta to here and here. Okay, so that's going to give us minus, so minus theta times sine squared theta plus sine theta times cosine theta. Okay, so next thing we can do, okay, we can further simplify this. Uh, uh, we can go ahead and take out the theta, so I can factor out theta. So then we have cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta plus sine theta times cosine theta. Okay, so there is a trig identity for cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta, and that is uh, cosine of 2 theta. Okay, and then for sine theta times cosine theta, uh, there is also identity for that. Okay, so sine 2 theta is equal to 2 times sine theta times cosine theta. So that would mean uh, that 1 half of sine 2 theta is equal to sine theta times cosine theta. Okay. So sine theta times cosine theta right, is 1 half sine 2 theta. Okay, so our derivative, so the, the derivative of y with respect to theta is just theta times cosine 2 theta plus 1 half of sine 2 theta. Okay, and that is, that is our result. Okay, all right, so for these, right, whenever you have three functions and you want to take the derivative, the easiest thing to do is go ahead and assign two of the functions to another variable. Okay, like for example here, we, uh, we assign f of theta to theta times cosine theta. Okay, and then you apply the product rule for that, and then you're going to have to apply the product rule again uh, for, you know, uh, in this case for f of theta. Okay, and then you substitute that back into the, into the derivative. Okay, and then from there simplify. Okay, so you can do the same thing for However many, however many functions you have, whether it's three, four, five, six, okay, all right. But for four functions, for five functions, yeah, definitely um, it's going to get more complicated, okay. And you'll have to repeat, um, you'll have to apply the product rule more than more than th uh, two times, okay, for for those, okay, for the ones that are higher than three functions, okay.